Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today's video is just a bit of a catch up on how the season's going so far and I've got a couple of clutches to show that have now all shed out and sort of looking their best then really. And I've made a few alterations to the room as well, which I'll, you know, I'll just take you through what I've done um, quickly. And yeah, I ain't going to ramble on, so we'll get in, have a look at what I've done in the room, which is why the camera is set up there, might I add. Um, I did have a shelf over that side and that's gone now, so I've done a temporary rig up there for today's video. So yeah, the pairings, just before I go on to the hatchlings, the pairings were Black Pastel Confusion to Orange Dream Calico Yellow Belly, and that was clutch number one. And then it was Black Pastel Confusion to Pastel Clown for clutch number two. So we'll get in and have a look at all that now, and I'll see you at the end. So yeah, slightly different room layout now. So where I used to do my videos from before was see where the holes are in the wall. That was a shelf. Um, I've got rid of that to give me some space uh, this way. So I was able to fit my incubator in down there. My aircon's there anyway now. So that's um, giving me room for that. Then I've got the new LP right there, which is working wonders. Very easy to put together. Um, I might do a, a video on its own about that rack, to be honest. But yeah, I've moved the adults from, they were there, I've put them there, which gave me more room this end, and that enabled me to get everything in across that wall. And I've still got my work surface here. Um, a little bit of storage space up there for my Repti chip. Um, and yeah, so let's take a look at some hatchlings. Um, so here we've got a black pastel confusion yellow belly. such a wacky pattern they're quite punchy as well uh, even though they haven't had their first feed they've not long shed but I'm pretty sure they're gonna be pretty good feeders because they're quite nippy but beautiful pattern and color um, the yellow belly is as clear as day and so is the confusion and black pastel uh, I think that's a go right so number two from clutch number one This one's a favourite of mine, I really like this and I think it's going to be really, really pretty when it gets to say two, three hundred grams. Um, this one's an Orange Dream Yellow Belly Confusion. A real beauty. I really like that one, that's a girl as well. So that's going to be a hold back for sure. Um, beautiful sort of See if I can show you the belly on it. There you go. See a yellow belly coming in there, look. Nice head stamp. Number two. Number three from clutch number one. is the same as the first one we looked at, which is a black pastel confusion yellow belly. I think this one's a boy. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this one being a male. It was mainly females, I fancied holding back from this lot, um, but I'm not sure yet. I'll get them feeding and then, you know, have a think about it. But yeah, he might end up being available. Another good one. Number four from clutch number one. So this was the single gene confusion. I was quite glad to get this out actually because it gave me a good, good basis for comparison. Um, for other any sort of no, more normal looking hatchlings but yeah this one's definitely the sort of telltale as this look at that 
I love wacky belly patterns and that one is, is definitely wacky. I think this one's a female as well. If it is, I'll probably be keeping that one as well. I'm looking to hoard a few females this year. Last year I sold a fair few animals that I didn't want to sell, but they were male. If they were female, they wouldn't have been going anywhere. Um, this one was, I'm pretty sure, black pastel. If it's orange dream or yellow belly, it's not standing out to me, to be honest. Um, but very nice, pretty little black pastel, all the same. So that was it, I think, for clutch number one, because yeah, that was five eggs. So moving on to clutch number two now. So this was the black pastel confusion to pastel clown. Um, and this is where it gets good. So first up, we've got a, I didn't actually show the egg cutting video of this one, but I've been so busy at work. Um, I just thought I'd let them both shed out and then you can have a look at all the hatchlings together. So it's a pastel hat clown. That one's a female. That'll be available. Once established. I think the only trouble with this clutch is I think there's a bit been a bit of an Easter egg. Um, and what I mean by that is I think there's a, a gene that's popped up that I wasn't aware of and I've got a feeling it's yellow belly. If you look at this one compared to the other one that I just showed, the pastel clown. In fact, I'll pull it back out quickly just so I can show you what I mean. Main difference being in some of the blushing and the blacks and just the general um, coloration is, is definitely up a notch on this one. I mean, the belly wasn't obviously yellow belly to me, but it's definitely something I know clown can influence combos, um, but obviously they're both heck clown and there's definitely a, a big difference in this one. And I think it has actually come off in some of the other hatchlings from the same clutch. So we'll have a look at those now. But yeah, so basically I think this one is a pastel yellow belly or, you know, pastel possible yellow belly, 100% heck clown. That one's, I've done really well for females because I'm pretty sure that one's a female as well. Um, right, so this, these are the ones I'm very uh, sort of keen on. So this one, so that is Confusion Black Pastel, Pastel, so it's basically a Confusion Black Pewter heck clown but there's a chance it's got this extra um, whatever it is yellow belly um, I did have a few comments about mum which is the pastel clown people saying she was a particularly nice pastel clown so I'm pretty sure it's come from her I don't think it's come from the black pastel confusion male because I'd imagine I would have probably struck an ivory on the previous clutch because that had yellow belly from the female side um, but yeah, anyway, this one's another female, so I'm going to hold that one back. But I'll show you the difference. I'll just keep that one out a minute. Because here is the other one, which is very similar. So again, it's a Confusion Black Pewter, but it's got way more blushing on it. So I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up. But that looks like Yellow Belly to me there. And... I'll see if the other little guy will let me get him back. Come back. There we go. So there is a difference in these two. So I'm pretty sure we've got black pastel, confusion. Um, sorry. Oh, mouthful, isn't they? Confusion, black pewter, yellow belly. Confusion, black pewter is what I'm going for. Um, these are both females anyway and I'll be keeping them both so I'll just see what what happens down the line but yeah very pleased with those really wacky pattern um, look at that it's really busy then is the word 
So anyway, that was like the clutch highlights for me anyway, was the two clowns there. And then I think that leaves two left from the Heck Clown clutch. And that is, let's have a look see. Right, so this, this is what made me realize. This isn't confusion, but it's not a normal. Um, if this little guy will let you see his head. There, it's got head spots. It's bright, it's got not a standout yellow belly belly, but it's just not normal. It's not a normal, you know, it's not a normal head clown. So yeah, a lot of people have said yellow belly, so I'm just gonna roll with that for a minute and then um, try and prove some stuff out. And then there's one more, which is, let's have a look. Right, <laughs> this is another one which made me realize that we're looking at something else. Now I've hatched quite a few black pewters over the years um, in combos like with GHI and stuff like that. But this cannot be just a black pewter. And it's, it's not confusion, but it's so blushed and bright that there's, there's something else going on. I just obviously don't know exactly what it is, um, but it does kind of look yellow belly. So I'm thinking this is black pewter, yellow belly, heck clown. Uh, I can't remember the sex on this one. I have sexed them all, but I do need to label them. So yeah, um, this one might be available. Um, again, the only trouble is, is I would have to sell it as a black pewter, heck clown, because I don't know what the extra thing is. So maybe they'll keep it actually. But yeah, that was the two confusion clutches. Um, I've got one more confusion clutch um, coming up, which is the black pastel confusion to GHI pastel yellow belly, which I'm really looking forward to. So I hope you enjoyed having a look at the hatchlings there. And as always, I thank you very much for watching the video. Every time you tune in, it does mean a lot to me. So thank you very much. And I just wanted to, before you go, just ask viewers or my subscribers, if do you mind seeing the egg cutting videos or would you prefer that I just let everything come out on its own and then you can have a look once they're out and you know I've washed them up and you can just see the eggs. Um, so I see the hatchlings straight away rather than seeing me cut the eggs, I don't know. Um, it's only because I don't want to start a cut egg cutting debate or anything like that. It's just I want to know if most of the subscribers mind seeing it. You know, if say 200 subscribers don't like egg cutting videos and then the 130 do, then it's a bit like I'd rather just show the hatchlings if you know what I mean. But yeah, if you could leave it in the comments what you'd, you know, what you'd rather see, let me know. And I'll change it a bit or something moving forwards with the next videos. Which brings me on to, you know, the next video is going to be the Sunset Mail to GHI Black Pastel Yellow Belly Clutch, which is six eggs. And there's two pips right now. So I might actually make a start on that content now, which is ideal and I'm really excited so yeah anyway thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next one